kuongezea kwenye hilo. Amen. 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 So let's read the word of God. Kwa hiyo tusome neno la Mungu. But before we read let's pray. Lakini kabla hatujasoma na tuombe. Father, Baba, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you. Tunakushukuru for this time. Kwa wakati huu that you have given to us. Uliotupa to share your word. Kushiriki neno lako. We thank you. Tunakushukuru that your word is true. Kwamba neno lako ni kweli. We thank you. Tunakushukuru that heaven and earth kwamba mbingu na nchi pass away. Zitapita but thy word lakini neno lako never pass away. Halitapita kama. That's why Lord. Ndio maana Bwana. We stand on your word. Tunasimama juu ya neno lako. Believe your word. Tunaliamini neno lako. Lord God. Na Mungu you feel feel your word. Utatimiza neno lako. Pray that speak to our hearts. Kwamba uzungue na mioyo yetu through your word. Kupitia neno lako. Reveal thy word. Na ufunue neno lako. Kwa kila mmoja wetu. Lift us up. Tuinue. A step higher. Kwenda hatua ya juu zaidi. Spiritual realm. Katika ulimwengu wa roho. That we live here. Am kwamba tunaishi hapa. We have been changed. Tukiwa tumebadilishwa. From glory to glory. Kutoka utukufu hata utukufu. And with a testimony. Na tukiwa na shuhuda. That we have had kwamba tumesikia I received na tumepokea from you kutoka kwako anoint me nitie mafuta and translator na mtafsiri and the entire congregation na kusanyiko lote bless all of us tubariki sote and bless all your children na bariki watu wote those who are not here hata wale wasio kwa pride all over the world na bibi harusi wote huko ulimwenguni bless her wa mbariki and prepare her na umwandae for the rapture kwa ajili ya unyago in the name katika jina of our jesus christ bwana wetu We pray. Naomba. Amen. Amen. Let's read the word. To so many no. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall read the Second Kings. The summer of Falme or Pili. Second Kings. Falme or Pili. Chapter two. Sura ya Pili. Second Kings chapter two. Falme or Pili. Sura ya Pili. From verse eight. Kuanzia mstari wa nane. Up to verse fourteen. Paka wa 14. Then we shall also read Hebrews. Na kisha tutasoma Waebrania chapter 13 sura ya 13 verse 8. Mstari wa 8. Amen. Amen. So I think if we are there in Kiswahili, okay, to save time you can read then the those who get English you read in English as is reading in Kiswahili. Kisa soma kwa Kiswahili lakini wale ambao wana Biblia za Kiingereza mtasoma kwa Kiingereza pia. Elia akalitoa vazi lake la juu, akalikunja, akayapiga maji yakagawanyika huku na huku na hawa wawili wakavuka pakavu. Hata ikawa walipokwisha kuvuka, Elia akamwambia Elisha, "Omba kwangu lolote litakalo nikutendee kabla sijaondolewa kwako." Elisha akasema, na kuomba sehemu maradufu ya roho yako na iwe juu yangu. Akasema umeomba neno gumu lakini ukiniona nitakapoondolewa kwako utalipata. La ukuniona ulipati. Ikawa walipokuwa wakiendelea mbele na kuongea tazama kukatokea gari la moto na farasi wa moto nikawatenga wale wawili. Naye Elia akapanda mbinguni kwa upepo wa kisulisuli naye Elisha akaona akalia baba yangu baba yangu gari la Israeli na wapanda farasi wake asimuone tena kabisa akashika mavazi yake mwenyewe akayararua vipande viwili kisha akaliokota lile vazi la Elia alimwangukia akarudi akasimama katika ukingo wa Yordani akalitoa lile vazi la Elia ile mwangukia akayapiga maji akasema yuko wapi bwana Mungu wa Elia naye alipoyapiga maji yakagawanyika huku na huku Elisha akavuka amen amen hallelujah hallelujah so let's also go to Hebrews 13:8 tusome pia waebrania 13 mstari wa nane Inasema Yesu Kristo ni yeye yule jana na leo na hata milele. Yeah. 
Let's pray once again. Father, we thank you for the word of grace. Any man can open the pages of the Bible. But text your Holy Spirit to make this word alive. May you quicken this word to our lives. And let us be blessed by you. Now we will. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the title of the message I want to share now. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? It is a question. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Amen. Amen. We have the light of our day. Amen. Amen. As we know in Malachi chapter 4. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Augustine spoke about that. Gave us the mathematics. Amen. Amen. So, where is that God? Amen. We Amen. want to see that God in our lives. Amen. 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 So, I have a subject. A historical God. Mungu wa historia of Elijah wa Elia, must be present tense. Lazima awe Mungu aliyepo sasa hivi. In our hivi. lives. Katika maisha yetu. We must see him every day. Lazima tumuone kila siku. In our lives. Katika maisha yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So, kwa hiyo God such a prophet. Do you all believe that? How do you believe that? If you believe it, say amen. If you believe Elijah was sent, he preached the word, and he was taken. He's already gone. Hallelujah. And since he's already gone, then that same spirit that was on Elijah must be on those people who remained who saw him go and that's what we have to see if God did mighty things in the midst of Elijah then we who remained who saw him go we who believe his message we must see the same God of Elijah that's to be our contention that's what we should do Has the God of Elijah is 
still alive. Mungu Elia angali yu hai. And since he's alive, na kwa sababu anaishi, lazima tumuone. The preacher has said, waahubiri wamesema, "Sasa you can become theologians." Kwenye ujumbe wa kwa mwana theolojia. Of course. Ni kweli? If we preach 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 no power. Kama tunahubiri ubiri ubiri hatuna nguvu. Hatuna vifaa na na theolojia. Whether 
It's not okay with you for me, it's okay. Come and see us all. Come and see us all. Amen. The dynamics of this church will be a refilling of the Holy Spirit that you have worked in a small measure where all the head is stone is coming down to unite with the body. You have heard that? The dynamics, the power of this church, of this bride, of the Elisha of today is the refilling. The word? Refilling. A feeling. A refilling. Another touch from the Lord. Ah, 
Ziko Daniel tu Benu ndipo God can give us the fullness. Yeah. Mungu aliweza kutupa utimilifu. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Fullness. Yeah. Utimilifu. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Fullness is coming. Yeah. Utimilifu utakuja. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. Amen. Kwa nini lazima utakuja? Because the rapture. Kwa sababu unyakuu. The resurrection. Ufufu of the sleeping saints. Wa watakatifu waliolala. Cannot take less. Hawezi kutokea. Cannot take place. Hawezi kutokea. Until Paka, you and me, wewe well, na mimi, has got to perfection. Tumefikia utimilifu au kamilifu. Amen. He said it. Alisema hivyo. The church of the perfect man. Kwa changu mkamilifu. He said. Alisema. This church. Hii kanisa. Has got to come to perfection. Inapaswa ifikie ukamilifu. In order to bring about the resurrection. Ili kuleta ufufu. The sleeping saints. Watakatifu waliola. Are waiting on me and you. Wanasubiri mimi na wewe. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To reach perfection. Kufikia utimilifu. When the we the living is sent. Wakati sisi watakatifu tulio hai. Like a perfection. Takapo gonga kwenye ule ukamilifu. God will release the dynamics. Mungu ataachilia nguvu. In the fullness. Katika utimilifu wake. Katika utimilifu wake. Because everybody will be in perfect love. Kwa sababu kila mtu anakuwa katika upendo mkamilifu. Nobody will be confused Then we prayed. And prayed. Then I told them after prayer. Check yourself. Then they checked themselves. And after checking themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over 15. But they received their instant healing. Instant healing. There was one with a paralyzed hand. The Lord stretched it. There was another one when the ear was not hearing. The Lord healed it. And one had a persistent headache for years. And he went to hospital. It had refused to go. And that one was delivered. Na huyu alifunguliwa by the Lord. Na Bwana. Who did that? Nani alifanya hivyo? Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Kinakilicho kipimo kidogo. The Holy Spirit. Charo mtakatifu. Who is in our midst? Aliyeo mimi. Even today. Hata leo. Roho mtakatifu. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Yeye mwenyewe. I believe in. Dugu, hicho ndicho 
tunachoamini. We must see the power of God. Lazima tuone nguvu za Mungu. And it will increase and increase. Na zitaongezeka na kuongezeka. Don't tell us that you will come after perfection only. Usiniambie kwamba zitakuwa tu kwa kwa now. Ziko hapa sasa. It's going on now. Zinaendelea sasa hivi. We are moving. Lakini tunaendelea mbele. Fullness. Kufikia utimilifu. Praise be to God. Mungu Another quote, another quote here. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. And he says, 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 Oh, walimtambua kile is a historical standpoint. Katika eh, mtazamo wa kihistoria. In a historical standpoint. Katika mtazamo wa kihistoria. They recognize the same. Walitambua kwamba ni yeye. Alifanya miujiza. But in a historical standpoint. Lakini ilikuwa ni mtazamo wa kihistoria. He worked in the prophet. Alifanya kazi kwa nabii. He worked in the prophet. Alifanya kazi kwa nabii. And believers would give testimonies about the prophet. Na waamini wanatoa shida nyingi kuhusu nabii. And that's wonderful. Na hilo ni jambo zuri. It is okay. Ni jambo zuri, sawa. He worked miracles. Alitenda miujiza. But what about our day? Lakini vipi kuhusu leo? What about our day? Vipi kuhusu leo? Now you want our day. Kwa kwa mimi nataka leo. Amen. Amen. He say, but he said his true thing. Akasema ni jambo la kihistoria. People stand up and say, Oh, I believe. Follow when they had the great outpouring, and the things that they had, and they and paint a fire. Na wakachora moto. A freezing man. Mtu anayekufa kwa baridi. Can't be moved by painted fire. Awezi kupewa joto na moto wa kuchora. Do you hear that? Yes. Nasikia hiyo. Yeah, a freezing man. Mtu anayekufa kwa kugana na baridi. Can't be warmed by painted fire. Hawezi kupashwa moto na moto uliochorwa. Painted fire does does don't warm. Moto wa kuchora hauleti joto. It can't warm. Hawezi kuleta joto. I saw as a picture Uwezi kutuwekea picha Are you seeing this picture? Na usi mnaona hii picha It was great fire Ulikuwa ni moto mkubwa sana It was burning Ulikuwa una waka Oh oh You see it was great Utaona ulikuwa ni mkubwa Yes it was a fire Sawa Ulikuwa ni moto wakati na mchuka What about now? Lakini vivi kasa hii Can you walk me? Uleza wakaniba joto Can you do something? Uleza wakaniba joto Flani Painted fire Moto wa kuchora Hawezi kuchikuleta joto Amen That's what they was what is it today? If it's the same yesterday and forever. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's painted fire. Some sort of freezing to death. Say, look. That big fire. They had. Amen. Why? That doesn't get you warm. Huo hauta kukupa joto. What they did at Pentecost. Walicho kifanya kule. What they had in the early testament. Walicho kwa nyo. Walicho kwa nyo. Kwa nyo. Kwa nyo. Kwa nyo. Tunalo leo. As soon as God can get the thing ironed out. Na mungu anaboza tu wakapata kitu kime pigu wa pasi. And the church said together. Na kanisa limeoka pamoja. The rapture will come. Amen. Unyakuo utakuja. Amen. Amen. But you can't even get faith for divine healing. Lakini sasa hatuna hata imani ya uponyaji wa kiungu. Let alone the rapture. Atilia mbali wa unyakuo. Because you are all twisted up. Kwa sababu tumevurugikiwa. One of this way. Moja upade huu. One of that way. Wigine upade huu. Dr. So and so said it was this. Daktari fulani na fulani alisema hivi. When my preacher said it, it was this. Vema mubili wangu alisema ini hivi. Painted the fire. Moto wa kuchola. And not warm us. Awezi kutu nisaidia au kutuchemisha. The miracles God did in the life of the prophet, they are wonderful. Maajabu mungu walifanya katika siku za hivi. They show us that God is powerful. Ni kutuonyesha kama mungu anangu. God is still alive. Mungu yuko kwa 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 kwa. Mungu alifunisha nabi But you now want to see that God of the prophet Each one of you Should create a challenge in your life Lazima utahidezi changamoto maisha ni wako And say I have to see That God Amen That God is able to do that Amen Amen Yes Amen 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 Amen
church of today the Lord God of Elijah I want to see him are you sick? you have to see the God of Elijah he today he must heal me today are you hearing me? if you are sick they say Leo Sema, the God of Elijah, Elia, Jehovah of the Old Testament, Jehovah of the Old Jesus Christ of the New Testament, Jesus Christ of the New Testament, who is with us now, in the power of the Holy Spirit, he must hear me today, not tomorrow, today. The problem with the people. They want to postpone. They are miracles. People want to postpone their miracles. They will say, Yes, brother. I will be healed. Yes, brother. I will receive the Holy Spirit. Yes, brother. I will be delivered. Now, Sasa. Will Vema? Point in the future. Will I will be healed? It is the future. I will be delivered. It is the future. And the prophet said, Faith does not point to the future. Faith says, I have it. It's why? Because the future will never come to pass. The future will never come to pass. Because today, there is a tomorrow. When it comes tomorrow, there is a tomorrow. When it comes tomorrow, there is a tomorrow. You will continue postponing your miracle and miracle and miracle. The God of William Branham must be presented. Our God is not a future God. No, He is a present tense God. He is with us right now. He is not going to come tomorrow. No. Here now, with your healing, with your deliverance, with the Holy Ghost. Now, why is it tomorrow? Why is it tomorrow? Why is it tomorrow? The Bible says, people want to will praise and believe God for yesterday and for tomorrow, but not now. They will see what God did yesterday. Yeah. And what he will do tomorrow. What he will do in the future. But what he's doing now. They don't see. They don't see. They don't see. So friends. Tell your neighbor. Our God. Is a present God. He is here now. He is here now. Healing is mine now. The Holy Ghost is mine now. What I want from God, I will get it now. So now, whenever you come to church, whenever you come to service, come under expectation from God to give you whatever you need. Now you listen. Vim kama it okay. Whatever does it mean now? Kama vim kama sisi. You continue believing. Enele kwa mi that you have it now. Kama unao sisi sahihi. And that now. Na yuo sisi sahihi. Will be manifested. It can be manifested right now. It can be manifested as you go out. It can be manifested as you reach home. It can be manifested as you sleep. It can be manifested as you wake up. Ama una kwa mba. Get. 
Kuna I want you to move from the future kutoka kwenye wakati ujao na muishi in the present tense wakati uliopo with your god na mungu wako in the present tense katika wakati uliopo amen when elisha wakati elisha reached the river jordan alipofika kwenye mto yordan he wanted a present tense god alihitaji mungu wa wakati uliopo to solve a present tense problem kutatua tatizo lililokuepo hapo amen So my friend at that very moment I wanted God to do a miracle and he said where is the Lord God of Elijah that should be your life that should be your life every day every day every day of manifestation of what you believe God is for don't say tomorrow every day that you pray kila siku that breaks that kila siku inayopambazuka say useme i have my miracle ninao mujiza wangu i have my healing nao kwa i have the holy spirit nae longa i have my deliverance nao mfuko kwa there is the day leo ni siku that the lord has made ambayo bwana amemfanya me to receive kwa ajili ya mimi kupokea my healing uponyaji wangu my deliverance kufunguliwa kwangu is the day the lord has made ni siku bwana amemfanya to receive the holy are you getting me? Nalipata. Are you getting me? Nalipata. Tell your neighbor. Mwambie jirani yako. Don't miss. Usikose. The working of God today. Usikose kazi ya Mungu leo. Today. Leo. Today. Leo. Today is the day. Leo ndio siku yenyewe. Today is the day. Leo ndio siku. Leo ni leo. Sio tomorrow, sio kesho. Amen. Leo ni leo. The prophet said. Mwambie asante. There are two things. Kuna mambo mawili. Tumaini and faith. Na imani. Amen. Mm. Decide hope. Asa matumaini will push push it to the future. Yatapeleka yeah. jambo katika wakati ujao. Faith. Imani declares it. Uh, it is now Ina, and I have it now. Inatang smile now. Inatangaza ni sasa hivi, ni langu sasa hivi na ninalo sasa hivi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the bride na bibi harusi has to move by faith. Inapaswa aende kwa imani. Anapaswa aishi kwa imani. We declare na kwa hiyo tunatangaza things we believe kwa mambo tunayoamini. They are ours now. Yapo sasa hivi. Ni yetu sasa hivi. Oh hallelujah. Hey. Kila mtu na Lord. Mpigie bwana makofi. Hallelujah. Praise to God. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Now listen here. Sasa Amen. Oh my 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 my. So uh, two more quotes then I finish. Amen. Amen. The message by Asa, what good will it do ita kutendea nini usaf hallelujah what good will it do ita, ita kusaidia nini kumtumika kutumika a god say the whole sentence <laughs> okay, okay. ita kufaidia say the whole sentence will tell me okay fine 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 sorry sorry okay what good what good will it do ita kusaidia nini to serve a god kumtumikia mungu that moses served ambaye Musa alibakia ni miracles ambaye tena miujiza that did mighty things ambaye alifanya mambo makubwa is not doing the same for you today wakati hakufanyi yale yale leo what will it do ita kusaidia nini he says paragraph 3 I am Satan. By faith Moses said. I will ask this audience. This morning. Asubuhi leo. What good? What good does a historical God do to us today? Mungu wa historia anatusaidia jambo gani leo? If he isn't the same God. Kama sio Mungu yule yule. Ha? We have God. Tunaye Mungu. Brother Branham. Wa ndugu Branham. God Mungu in this message katika ujumbe huu we say tunasema we believe na tunaamini we have the truth 
Nayo kwe, of this day ya siku hii. and we surely have Na hakika tunayo. but where is that God? Lakini huyo mungu yuko wapi? It is a challenge. Ni changamoto. Amen. It is a challenge. Ni changamoto. And that's the challenge we must face and must be solved. Na iyo do changamoto tunapaso kukabia nayo na kuitatua. Amen. 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 People shouldn't be in the church crying. Watu apasikuwa uh, uh, watu wakatani wanalia, wanaangaika. We have to see the power of God. Lazima tuone mungu za mungu kanisani. Amen. The Lord God of brother brother must be seen in our midst. Wana mungu wa elia lazima aulekane miongo ni mwetu. Pastors, call of a sorrow to fast. Amen. Call of a sorrow to fast. Iteni mafungo. Prayer. Mafungo ya kutia. Until the power of God. Mafungo ya zati. They pray and fast. Now and God honors the ritual sacrifice they they offer. Na mungu anaishimu ile dhabihu ndogo anayotoa. But you go to message churches and some of them tell you na kwa makanisa na wasikia wengine wanasema that fasting the first thing is not part of the message. Kuna kwa makanisa ya ujumbe wanasema kufunga sio sehemu ya ujumbe. Message believer saying fasting is not part of the message. Waamini wote wanasema eti kufunga sio sehemu ya ujumbe. Do you read the Bible? The Bible says things like this. Do not go away. And they said, they took him aside. And said, you gave us power. We cast this one into the field. They told them, I gave you power. Come here. 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 Narudi kapa. 
But you people are remaining here. Lakini ninyi wote tunaubaki hapa. In this meeting. Mtano hii. Make it a task. Yes. Amen. Let everybody pray. Amen. Let everybody pray. Ye watu wafanyeni ya watu waombe. Fast fast. Kama ni kufunga ufungu. So that the power of God. Ili kwa nguvu za Mungu. Can move in this meeting. Ji tembea kwa mkutano hii. What good? It has a good What good does a God? Does a God that will take a Moses and do the miracles with him that he did? Mungu aliyemchukua Musa na kufanya miujiza aliyofanya atakusaidia nini? What good? Would it need to do to us? To read of such a God. Kumsoma Mungu aina hiyo, live is to the same one today. Kama si Mungu yule yule leo. What good? It is a God that could deliver from the fiery furnace. Mungu aliyekomboa kutoka kwenye aliyekomboa kutoka kwenye moto wa Mungu to the same God today. Kama si Mungu yule leo. What good is a God who judge between right and wrong and punish the wrong and bless the right if he isn't the same God today what do, what do we go to church for? Kwa nini tunaenda kanisani? These these are words of the prophet not mine. Haya ni maneno ya nabii sio maneno yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must see this God. Lazima tumuone huyu Mungu. He performed miracles. Alifanya msiri the same God. Kama alifanya miujiza ni Mungu yule yule bado. Lazima tuone miujiza. Lazima tuone nguvu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Each one of us should have that burden. Kila mmoja wetu yapaswa awe na huo mzigo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni power yetu ndio tunapaswa kuwa kanisani. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Real genuine gifts. The power halisi. Amen. Amen. In line with the word. Viki viki wa mia mbata na na neno. Should be the church. Bila kwa sababu kani sani. Oh my. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do we abstain from things of the world if it isn't the same God of the same judgment? Kwa nini tuachi mambo ya ulimwengu kama si mungu ile ule anayokuwa? Amen. Amen. And the same opinion that always was. Na mwenye maoni yale yale aliyokuwa nayo. What good would it do for would it, what good would it be for a god who could touch a woman's hand with the raging fever he, and the fever stop? Itakufa nini kwa Mungu ambaye alimgusa mwanamke mwenye homa kali na koma ika koma if he isn't the same god today kama sio mungu yule yule leo oh hallelujah oh hallelujah what good would it do to serve a god bila kusaidia nini kumtumikia mungu who could call his friend from a grave ambaye angeweza kumuja rafiki kutoka kaburini after being dead for four days baada ya kuwa mfu kwa siku nne if he isn't the same god today kama sio mungu yule yule leo amen hallelujah hallelujah brother Sister, no we must see the same God. Lazima tuone mungu yule yule. Hallelujah. Oh, clap to the Lord. Begin when I am. Let me finish with this. 
In the message, lifting him out of his history. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, our God is the same yesterday than forever. He worked in the ministry of Brother Branham and we must see him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my my. Oh German. Paragraph 75 lifting him out of history. He said, let me, more, let me more say today, my brother, sister, in this present day, when crisis, when cancer is eating the world up, and the disease of all kinds, the same historical God that cleans the leper, he will the sick and raise the dead in the same God today. Tell your neighbor. The God of miracles Mungu is the same God today. Is the same God today. Hallelujah. Oh my. He is the same God today. And listen to this. He is waiting anxiously. Amen. That word anxiously. Is means that he is waiting with a great anticipation. He wants so much. He is desiring so much. He is waiting anxiously for his people to call him on the scene of action. Na and calls upon him. Na then he comes on the 
the scene Ndiyo, and he heals that person na anamponya yu mtu then there is a testimony Ndiyo, kuna ushuda that God is the healer kwa mungu ni mponyaji yes. and then na nipo others will know wengine watajua that he is the healer kwa mungu ni mponyaji yeah. are you seeing that na ona yu amen amen so you yourself kwa hiyo wewe mwenyewe you are a witness ni shahidi of the supernatural wa mambo ya kiungu you are a witness wewe ni shahidi of the power wa nguvu of jesus christ na yesu kristo jesus christ yesu kristo wants to work in your life anataka kufanya kazi maisha yako so that you have a testimony ili kwamba wewe ushuhuda a witness uwe shahidi and you can tell others na unaweza kuambia wengine you tell others unapoambia wengine then it will spread like a wild fire you can tell me kama moto kwa majani anasubiri kwa ham for his people kwa watu wake to call him on the sea waamuje kwenye tukio the one yule ambaye huku to forgive a harlot ambaye angeweza kumsamehe for committing adultery seven times in a day kwa kufanya uasherati au uzinzi mara saba kwa siku moja he who cleans the vilest sinner ambaye anaweza kumsamehe mwenye dhambi au kumsamehe mwenye dhambi sana make them white as a lily na kumfanya mweupe kama yugi yugi the same god of history historia lives today anaishi leo every black heart can be seen and have believe kusafisha kila moyo mweusi na usioamini i don't care what the city of committed si jali umefanya dhambi gani you repent today ukitubu leo repent tubu the blood of jesus damu ya yesu will cleanse you kusafisha hallelujah hallelujah is waiting on us today to to forgive you kusamehe to heal you to deliver you hallelujah oh my god i have so much to quote but i want to finish i will jump a few things hallelujah he says this paragraph 78 aya 78 he says jesus said hallelujah if you can believe kama unaweza ukaamini if you believe what kama unaamini nini if you believe that god of history kama unaamini mungu wa historia lives today angani anaishi leo and he was called on the scene na aliitwa kwenye tukio and the epilepsy left that na ukoma ukamtoka yule mtoto now listen sasa sikiliza you can stand up on your feet we are going to go to that god tunamwendea huyu mungu sasa are you ready to call upon him je uko tayari kumuita are you ready to call upon him uko tayari kumuita Let it be. Na iwe your challenge. Iwe changamoto yako. You know the problems. Katika matatizo yote unayokabiliana nayo. Say I must see that God of Elijah. Sema nataka nimuone huyo Mungu wa Elia. I must see that God of William Branham. Nataka nimuone huyo Mungu wa William Branham. The light of today. Na Elisha wa leo. Ah mimi ni Elisha wa leo. I'm the Elisha of today. Mimi ni Elisha wa leo. He performed the miracle alifanya miujiza is the same god today ni mungu yule yule leo jesus christ is the same yesterday and forever yesu kristo ni yule yule i must see him lazima nimuone call upon him with all your heart muite kwa moyo wako wote believe you with all your heart amini kwa moyo wako wote and na don't give up uskate kama until you see mpaka umeona your miracle muujiza wako until you see mpaka umeona power nguvu zake if one the vast of the holy spirit kikupa dhiki na roho mtakatifu you are filled with the holy spirit if you want the baptism of the Holy Spirit, kama unataka roho believe endelea kwa and pray na uombe until you feel mpaka amekujaza if you want healing kama unataka uponyaji pray oma believe amen until you are healed mpaka umeponywa if you want deliverance kama unataka kufunguliwa oma believe amen until you are delivered mpaka umefunguliwa whether you want a job kama unataka kazi whether you want a business kama unataka biashara whether you want a child kama unataka mtoto hallelujah hallelujah whether you want a husband kama unataka mume whether you want a wife kama unataka mke whatever you need chochote unachohitaji our god mungu wetu jehovah jireh ni jehovah yire Lipa gharama whatever you need kwa yoyote unayohitaji 
Na yuko hapa. Give it to you. Kukupa. This cannot be believed. Kama leza kwa mimi. Whatever you believe. Chochenda cho ni. Whatever you ask. Chochenda cho. We will give it to you. Aleluya. 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 Oh my. Oh jamani. Ali sema. That same God. Uyo Mungu. He is waiting upon his people. Anasubiria watu wake. Follow him on the scene. Kumuita kwenye tukio. Aha, I'm finishing with it. Nasimaliza na hivi. It was been a long quote na yeye let me cut it here now. Imekuwa ni ndefu ngoja nikatize. That was a historic God. Huyu alikuwa ni Mungu wa historia. That gave the promise. Aliyetoa hiyo ahadi. And we are the people today. Nasi ni watu leo of his pasture. Wa malisho yake. We are the sheep. Sisi ni kondoo. Of his fold. Wa kundi lake. He is waiting on us. Anatusubiri to stand kusimama tusimame and call na muite yeye on the action kwenye tukio call him on the scene muite kwenye tukio call him to come into your problem muite aje kwenye matatizo yako into your situation muite kwenye hali yako solve your problem asolve that other challenges yako into your life aje maisha ni mwako akupe unachohitaji call him on the scene muite kwenye tukio watch him go into movement mtazame akisogea watch him do the supreme mtazame akifanya yale makubwa watch him do the thing mtazame akifanya jambo man will wonder ambao mtu atastaajabu and scratch their head na kule kichwa chake and not understand na asielewe amen amen is a historical god ni mungu wa historia a present day god mungu wa sasa hivi is waiting Give us a song. 